Hey guys, Mish here, and today I'm sharing a study that I find to be pretty mind-blowing on the difference between fat and carbs, specifically sugar, on satiation. And actually, this paper consists of four studies slash experiments on the effects of fat versus sugar on participants' ratings of hunger and fullness and satiation, and actually how much they ate afterwards which is what really matters when it comes to satiation. The general procedure for the first three experiments was that the participants were given a 440 calorie breakfast that was standardized, and then a third of them were given 400 calories of fat added, and a third of them were given 400 calories of sugar added, and a third of them got nothing added. And then they were asked to rate how they felt afterwards in terms of satiation. And what they found was that compared to the added fat or the no added calories group, the group that got the carbs slash sugar were less hungry, more full, had less motivation to eat, and planned to eat less throughout the day just because they felt so satiated. And I don't know about you, but one of my pet peeves is when I see people telling us high carbers to eat more fat because fat is satiating and without fat we'll just keep eating forever because we'll never feel full. Well, prepare for some pretty cool results because this study is a wonderful rebuttal to that argument, which their argument is not based on science, just by the way. And the second study wanted to see how this translated to real life in terms of how much they ate. So 90 minutes after the breakfast, where they got either carbs, fat, or nothing added, the participants were able to eat from a sandwich platter. And so the researchers measured how much these participants ate after the different types of breakfast. And the third experiment looked at the same thing, but instead of snacks 90 minutes after the breakfast, they gave them another meal and measured how much they ate. And what they found is pretty shocking. In line with the results from the first experiment where participants said they would eat less, those who had the high carbohydrate breakfast ate about a third less calories at the following meal or snack time compared to the high fat group or the no added anything group. And the thing that really gets me is the fact that the group that got the fat supplement at breakfast ate approximately double the calories of the group that got nothing extra at breakfast, but they still ate the same amount at the snack time. So. There was no difference between the group who got an extra 400 calories of fat and the group who did not get an extra 400 calories of fat, whereas the group who got the extra 400 calories of carbs ate less than either of those other groups. And this held when the participants were switched, so each participant got to be a high fat person one day, or a high carb person one day, or a no supplement person one day. So it looks like even though the high fat group was eating double the calories, it actually didn't even cause them to eat less afterwards. So it's like they ate nothing extra except they did eat a lot extra and that's going to turn into body fat if they end up overeating, which they did. And similarly, the supplemented fat had no effect on the participants' ratings of hunger or fullness or motivation to eat compared to not getting that extra 400 calories. So you felt just as full if you ate 400 calories of standard macronutrient breakfast than you did if you added 400 calories of fat. So it seems like fat is adding calories and no value when it comes to actually feeling full and satisfied. And so the first three studies were done on lean males, whereas the fourth study was done on obese women. So for this fourth study, they used a pretty different design to look at a similar concept. And they had the participants eat either a high calorie lunch, which was about 1000 calories, or a low calorie lunch, which was about 500. And then they looked at how much they ate at dinner. And the women were able to choose from a range of either high fat or high carb foods, and they could eat whatever they wanted. And then the researchers measured how much they ate and how much that affected how much they ate after dinner at a separate test meal. And fascinatingly, the biggest determinant of how much they ate at dinner was not how much they ate at lunch, but rather whether they were choosing high fat or high carb foods at dinner. Those who chose to eat high fat foods ate double the calories as those who ate high carb foods before they were able to reach satiation and then stop eating. And it also seemed like the hungrier the subjects were, the more likely they were to overeat from high fat foods. So there's also an interaction effect there between the meal size at lunch and their choices of foods at dinner. And the high fat icing on the cake is that even though the high fat eaters at dinner ate double the calories as the high carb eaters, they all still ate the same amount at the test meal after dinner. So despite consuming double the calories, that did not satiate them enough to make them eat less afterwards. And some might argue that the satiating effects of fat might take longer than a couple hours to manifest, and yeah, that's a valid argument. So the researchers also looked at how much these participants ate the next day to see if they compensated by eating less after such a high calorie, high fat day the day before. And what they found is that 
Instead of eating less the next day, the high-fat group actually ate more than the high-carb group. Keeping in mind that the high-carb group had eaten less calories the day before, then they once again ate less calories in the high-fat group the next day. Which is mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. So it looks like the high-fat foods are literally doing nothing for satiation compared to... Actually, yeah, nothing, because in that first study, or in the first set of studies, they ate the same amount regardless of whether or not they had that extra 400 calories of fat. Unbelievable. Like, even for me, my biased high-carb self, this study is shocking. These results are so strong. And they did it four times. So even though the groups are pretty small, they really replicated it a lot with different people. And the researchers conclude that high-fat foods have a weak effect on satiation, if any, and that it's disproportionately weaker if you eat more high-fat foods. So if you eat more calories, you get even less of a satiation effect the more you eat, which is crazy. So it seems like all-you-can-eat high-fat buffets are really a recipe for disaster. So next time someone tells you that you need to eat more fat or else you'll never feel full, and that fat is the most important macronutrient for satiation, then I urge you to direct them to this study, or this video, or other studies. There's lots of other studies on this out there too, which I'll be going over in the future, but yeah, it looks like the science actually supports the idea that fat is not satiating, even compared to sugar. So those who say that you can eat sugar endlessly and never feel full, whereas that tablespoon of oil in your veggies is really gonna up the satiation factor, are spewing BS. Sorry. <laughs> but it's not based on science. And keep in mind that this study looked at sugar for their form of carbs instead of high fiber starches, which have been shown to have an even stronger effect on satiety. So these results are especially dramatic considering that they used sugar, which is generally considered to not be as satiating a carb as other types of carbs. So I don't know about you guys, but this study definitely helps me validate my love of dates and other amazing forms of sugar that make me feel very full and satiated. I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's, and thanks so much for watching. Please share and subscribe to see more videos. I'd really appreciate it.